Welcome back to Good Morning Indiana. And this is really a big developing issue as more industrial businesses just pop up right here in central Indiana. Farmers are being approached, Lauren, to sell their land. Yeah, Raphael, but what's a fair price for the flat ground that's in a growing area? Our Kelsey Anderson is working for you this morning with what you need to know before you sell. In Hancock County, if you drive anywhere near the Mount Comfort Corridor, you will see three things. Giant buildings, new construction, and bare fields waiting for seeds to be sowed or buyers to buy. Now's a good time to, to be a landowner. David Shaw owns nearly 65 acres in Hancock County. He says the land has been in his wife's family since the early 1870s. They were an original land grantee of... The land. Now this farmland is being surrounded by new businesses moving in. It's good economically for the far east side of Indianapolis and particularly Hancock County. I mean, it's a rapidly expanding area. The rapidly expanding area has people knocking on doors, making offers on land that isn't even for sale. Always intended to sell it, but at, I was approached earlier this spring by uh, somebody who made me an offer and it sounded well that's a lot more than I expected. After talking with a different broker Shaw thinks his land is worth more than the original offer. There's a lot of demand in this area. We're on the east side of Indianapolis. This is the side of Indianapolis that's poised for a lot of growth that's driven by labor and also good access to I-70. Matt McGrady works for Collier International. He says when it comes to calculating a reasonable price for your land, there are a lot of things to take into consideration. You know, that's accessibility. Um, what's it currently zoned? You know, is there wetlands on site? Is it in a floodplain? There's many things that you need to consider to basically give them a good value per acre for that land. After going through this process himself, Shaw recommends this. Take the time to uh, give somebody a call that is an expert in, in selling farmland or uh, land for development to, to get a current price because prices are continuing to shift. Working for you, Kelsey Anderson, RTV6.